What's going on guys, JBH here and welcome back to UFC for the recreation of a title fight tonight. It's UFC 226 Miocic. Yeah. So far tonight, I've already, take play I've already taken part in two main card fights. Chis Pettis, Perry versus Felder and now we are taking part in Francis Ngonu versus Derek Lewis fight. I'm going to be fighting as Lewis. I do feel like Lewis is the underdog going into this matchup. I mean, God, Francis is just a beast. Blue beast, but we'll try and get the win and then get some form going into the title fight later on tonight. Alrighty, here we go. Francis Ngannou, Black B, Derek Lewis. So here's the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. He gets the bet hiking into this UFC encounters. Takedown defense is on point. He's an underrated grappler as well. Born in New Orleans, Louisiana. But the Black Beast claims Houston, Texas. Houston certainly claims the Black Beast. They believe they've got an eventual UFC champion on their hands. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. So here is Francis Ngannou, perhaps the most frightening heavyweight on this roster, top to bottom at present. Very well-rounded fighter. He was born in Cameroon, where there's a big MMA scene. Now he's fighting out of Paris, France, and he really believes his UFC success could help expedite MMA legalization in France. He might be the champion by the time MMA is legal in France. This is one seriously tough customer in this UFC heavyweight division. This guy is a dirty boxer. He likes to get the clinch, keep this fight at close range where he can land devastating uppercuts and punches. this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record on. 19 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now with the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A boxer holding a professional record out. 11 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator! Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon. All right. Time for the heavyweights, the big punches. Derek Lewis, a throwback heavyweight in a lot of respects. Everything he throws is a potential fight ender. Wow. Oh, shit. All right, so here we go with round one. There is no denying just how much power this fighter has in his kick. So let's see how early he chooses to attack with it. Does he go low to the leg? Does he go high to the head? Let's see how the early portions of this fight play out. There's the jab. There's another one. So ah, fuck. Almost got that big right hand in. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. That one hurt. Ah, come on. Straight right hand now, just misses. Hey, 
that shot blocked by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by... Ah, oh, come on! Why does it take so long to throw that big right hand? ...a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. And they clinch. Lewis gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses to pass here, Joe. Landed that one. Posture's up here. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. Uh, I'm going to use up too much stamina. We'll make it interesting. Ngannou gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Oh, and he tags him with ah, the come on, get your hands up. By the predator, Francis Ngannou. Good exchanges from both fighters. Oh, big dodge. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by the Black Beast. Oh, he heard him oh fuck! No, get up, get up. This could be it. Fuck's sake. Heard him with that oh, my God, get your fucking hands out. There's a single attempt. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Transitions to full guard. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, effective strike there by the Black Beast. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh fuck! Should have knocked him out then. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Another shot. Oh! Uh, what? Alright. He got stunned a couple times, but I think we did not too bad considering... I mean, that... I hate it when you throw a punch at the exact same time. How does UFC... Or why does UFC always decide that... Or EA decide that it's always the opponent, like the AI that gets the punch in? I mean, that really pissed me off. And here it is from another angle. I mean, how did that not... Like, what the fuck? How did that not land? I mean, I don't really want to take it to the ground. I want to have a good box up, but... Carly Baker in the building obviously tonight. not. Thank you very much. Here we are, early round two. Fucking hell. He is clearly in big, big trouble here. He tagged him again. Body kick, look at that. Uh, couldn't get the takedown that time. Well, the offense has been there. Yeah, he doesn't want it on the ground. He knows. There you go. Oh! He is stumbling. He might be out. Oh, I can't get that big right hook to, to land. It takes so long to do it. How about that oh, come on, just throw the fucking punch, dude. Oh, very nice. I can only throw kicks. He's too slow with everything else. Good defense there. Misses a huge hook to the head. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further... Oh, come on! How did he reach that? Ooh. Oh, yes. Double leg. Let's fucking finish this. I'm done with this guy. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. He landed a left hand there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Damn it. Oh, 
huge block. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, he's got to be there. <laughs> wow, what a fight. Just out of range with the big right hand. There's a nice kick. Big straight punch. Oh my god, I just can't throw the punches. He's too slow. I've given up with the punches. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Nice takedown. Ten seconds now to go on the round. Alright, that'll be it. Round two over. Really close. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. All right, here we go. Third and final round. Let's do this thing. Third and final is underway. Look for him to go on the attack. Oh, that landed it. Round, to pick up been a big one. Left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Man, I could watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any oh. signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, clipped him with the jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh. Oh, strong punch. Yes, the getting the striking down now. Strikes. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by him, got there he swung with a haymaker. Oh, that was a fail. Punch is blocked. Oh, so what a dodge. Strike to the body there, and Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight, not only an uptick in the aggression, but also in the body work. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, nice punch ah, there shit, by the come predator, on. Francis Ngannou. Hit him hard with that shot. Is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a wild exchange! Oh, oh got him! He's in big trouble. Oh, he might be out. Oh, oh fuck! Wow. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! Two minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, come on. Good shot. God, I keep getting away. Oh. Boom! Oh, he's getting hit. Come on. Body kick, look at that. Oh, big body shot. Using everything I can. Another head kick. Oh, a huge Not blocked. Block there. Head kick. Well, you've got to admire the oh, urgency God. here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, huge hook. Oh, fuck, I had him. The left hook hits home. Go away. Oh. No! He's hurt! He's hurt! Come on! Not much time left! Oh, him again. Oh my god, I keep getting stunned! It's over! 
Shit, I think we lost that last round. Damn it. Joe, just due to the amount of significant strikes he landed, the stats really tell the story in this one, and you gotta think he is really happy with what he was able to accomplish in this matchup tonight. Round three, some serious torque and power behind that leg kick. The official decision is now in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Francis the Predator Engano. Wow. All right. So Francis was all the rage with fight fans coming in, and his fans will continue to swell. I need to see the stats. I thought I didn't do that bad. His frame is only getting stronger, skills only getting sharper, and his confidence is only getting higher. Francis Ngannou is the real deal, folks. Man, that was a shock. I... 30-27, damn, didn't even win one round. Alright, so, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, I mean, I suppose he did, he did get a lot more strikes. I mean, round one, same strikes, he just had more significant ones, but I still had two takedowns, so that's got to count for something. I mean, that's, yeah, he's got, you know, eight more significant strikes, but I stunned him twice as well. I mean... Three stuns, definitely two takedowns again. I mean, I know I had less strikes. I mean, still, that's got to count for something. I mean, why the fuck would you bother taking down if you get nothing? Stunned him four times in the last round. Uh, knocked him down twice. Had, I just, yeah, all right. Had more control on the ground. You can see he had a minute's of worth of control on the ground in both round one and two. I just thought that would count for more, but maybe not. Anyway, I'll take that into account going into the title fight with Miocic and Cormier here in a sec and hopefully we can get another win it's been a loss a win and a loss so definitely not going to take it any easy well anything like what we did in this round uh, in this match I took it pretty easy on in Francis and Gonyu so thinking I could get that box out win but we'll just have to try and do it a little bit differently here in a sec Alright guys, stay tuned for that one. Thanks for tuning in for this heavyweight bout.